Hello everybody, welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be answering the age-old question. Does size actually matter? In Train Simulator, of course, um, I have three engines here, one big, one medium, one small, and I have a giant ramp. Oh, crap. On this giant ramp, as you will soon see, I am going to be testing these engines to see which one goes the fastest. I have the Invincible here, the Invincible 040 Saddle Tank Engine with a decent line of ca cars. I have the Thompson B1, which has an even bigger line of cars, and I have the Union Pacific 4002 Big Boy. Now, the Big Boy is one of the biggest... It is the biggest steam engine that I know of in the United States, and it has a giant line of cars. So, what's going to be happening is I'm going to be racing these, or not racing them, I'm going to be using these engines, testing them, see which one can go the fastest. My honest opinion is that Big Boy is going to be going the fastest. I mean, look how long that train is. So, I am going to be going from biggest, I mean, no, not biggest to smallest, smallest to biggest, starting with the Invincible Saddle Tank. Now, this engine's top speed, on average, is about 20 mph, miles per hour, if Y'all are stupid and don't know what that means. So, let me get her going. Yeah. Now, this engine is not a quick starter, so... It's, it's gonna be relatively obvious. But, we gotta get her moving. Let's get her going. Speed up till it gets to the slope, and... Yeah, see, look, even even the Invincible, it was going faster than the 2F dock tank. Cut to that video, because that thing was going really slow. I'm just going to just give this engine a big old shove. Come on. Come on. I'm a stare. Come on, don't slow down. Don't slow down. Speed up. Speed up. Is it the, tr is it the cars? I can decouple some of the cars. Here, look. Boop. There. I decoupled some. Go faster! So close! Get to going! I'm not even moving anymore! Just go! No, the thing is, this, like, for this train, this line of cars is, like, really long. But here we go. On to the slope. I have the slope. Um, it's the same as it was. There's no... I mean, other than, like, this part up here, there's no difference between the slope from the last episode and this one. Yeah, like, 30 miles per hour is, like, too fast for this engine already. Imagine its speed when it goes to, like, 80 or 90. I'm gonna shut off steam in a minute. Oh, yeah. Yep. Turn off steam. Yep. Okay. Slow down. Please. 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 <coughs> that helped. A little bit. Yeah, this engine was never made to go, like, above 30. So the fact that it's going 110 at the moment is kind of scaring me and it. You know what? Brake van, away you go. You're not. Un you're our unwanted. We're leaving the brake van behind. Goodbye, old friend. Goodbye. You are unwanted. Yay. We're leaving. Okay, I think this might be cheating, but I'm doing it anyway. It's gonna slow us down just a slight bit. Look, the the brake van's already all the way back there. You can see the track still. Hold up. You can still see the original line. That's where it was. That's like the loop that the big boys' trucks were on. But yeah. Alright, we're floating. Just like last time, we're floating. Gee. Oh god. Yep, brakes on. Brakes on. We're going 120. <gasps> brakes on. Okay, so, so far our top speed is 122, it looked like. 122-ish. And I am too scared to go above that speed truck right there is like about to blow like it looks like it's on the verge of death look how high up it is like six inches above the ground I'm not saying I'm not but that truck is like it's like sandwiched between this one and this one this invincible boy my PSI is going a little low don't you think no Percy you okay you look like you're speeding a little bit by like math is not mathing 44 miles per hour <laughs> I think. That's how math works, right? Yeah, we're practically at the bottom. I can see it right there. So, I'm gonna not make the same mistake I did the first time, because in the first videos, 
I was like, or the first video, I was like slowing down a lot until I was like right there. So I'm gonna turn the brakes off now. Probably a bit smart, don't you think? Just so I can get a little bit of extra speed. But seeing as I don't think I'm gonna go any higher than that, I think 123 was my max speed, which I think is really good for this little guy. That is three miles per hour less than Mallard, which is really, really good. Oh, we hit 122 there. And then my train is like doing a snake behind me. But I'd say that was really good. All right, onto the two, what was it called? The B something. I have the Thompson B1. Okay, so the Invincible's max speed was 123 miles per hour, which I think is really good for a little 040 saddle tank. Now, time for the Thompson. I completely forget what this class's name is. The Thompson B1. So I think my wheels are slipping a little bit. I think I have too long of a train, but I could definitely use my sanders. That'd probably be smart. That'd probably be smart. Alright, real quick, I just want to show you how long this train is. It's like up to here. So it's like... Hello. Are you going to go any faster, mate? Because we're kind of waiting up on you. Yeah, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. It's right there. It's right there. It's going to take a while. But we are going to make it. So, I'm going to just say this real quick. I got this engine for like 20 bucks like a few minutes ago. Like right before I started this video, I actually got this engine. And I just want to say it is so pretty. Like, it's got like this rusty blackish pink. And it looks so... It just looks really cool, and I love it. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely, like, if you have Train Simulator, and you have 20, like, if you have some spare change, then you should definitely pick this engine up, because it is a beaut. I'd say I'm pulling maybe 60-ish cars, 63, I'd say, because the, the, the preset that this engine comes with, comes with 21 trucks, or 21 slate cars, or whatever they're called, and... I spawned in three of them, so spawning, so it didn't come with a brake fan, so that's 63, so one more, that's 64, 64 cars that this engine came with, and I am starting to speed up a little bit. Bye bye, Miss American Padrove, I'm gonna get demonetized if I sing that, but I don't care, because that song is super good, if you haven't heard it, then you should. I'm barely going 60. How the hell am I already bouncing? Brakes on. Come on. Whoa. I'm still speeding up. I should probably slow down a little bit. Slow down. Come on. I'm going to take a few trucks off the back. Boop. Like I said, I'm not sure if that's cheating or not. It probably is, but I don't really care. Come on. Just go backwards. Slow down. Come on, if I don't slow down, then I'm just going to mark my top speed as the speed that I crashed at. Boop, boop, boop. I crashed. I didn't see what my speed was. Uh, I'm going to say it was like 120. If not, I'm going to restart. So, Okay, so I've noticed something. So, on this menu right here, you can see that the wheels of these cars have, like, have the ability to brake. So... What I'm going to do is, while I'm on the slope, if I get go, if I start going a little bit too fast, I'm going to turn the brakes on, I'm going to turn the brakes on the cars, just so I can slow down just the smallest bit. Let's hope that works. You've got this one in the bag, if you weren't so god dang slow. There we go. Alright. You're dead. So, we were so close to the bottom, but our top speed was 117. I think that's pretty good. Big boy. Alright guys, so the big boy unfortunately did not work. So I am going to be using this. So this is basically just big boy except cab forward. Now if you don't know, the cab forward engines were an experimental type of engine that basically um, flipped around the engine so that the cab was in the front as the name suggests. But 
these engines are not only weird, but they also really are just beautiful. Mostly, their weirdness contributes to that beautifulness. Now, crap, I didn't mean to do that. So, I am going to be using the cab forward version of Big Boy. Now, this isn't the exact Big Boy. It's a... It, okay, I have no idea what that noise is, but... This is pretty much the exact same engine, except just a little bit different. I really do like the look of this engine. Like, it looks so awkward, yet, like, right. It looks like this should be how they're made. It's not, but, you know, I really do like the look of this engine. But, yeah, I'll speed it up until we get to the bottom. Or to the slope, I mean. Now, this engine, like Big Boy, can really handle some long loads. I'm talking like this thing's going almost perfectly and yet has a line of cars that is almost twice as long as the the C1s, I think that's what it's called. So I'm going to turn my brakes off or my throttle off and I'm just going to roll for the rest of the way. I really want to see what this thing looks like when it hits the slope because these two are these two like okay, let's see. Yeah, that looks wrong this thing is going to be going really fast though now i'm not sure if this is a new engine to to train simulator it must be because i've never seen this thing before but it is gorgeous like this thing is actually great looking i want to see one of these engines in real life because look because this thing looks like imagine you see this thing coming down the track at you like 60 70 miles an hour this thing would look so pretty. And this is an American locomotive, so it's nearby me as well. Or not nearby, but in the crunch in the country nearby I'm talking about. Oh god, okay, yeah, we're bouncing a little bit. Just a tiny just a tiny little bit. Just a little bit. Don't worry. We're not gonna die. Emergency. Emergency. But yeah, if I could actually go to see one of these engines in real life, I would be a happy, I'd be a happy camper. Alright, I'm going to a couple, a couple cars. We left a few behind. We done left a few behind. But one question I do have about like these double, these double uh, driving wheel locomotives how do they like these ones that aren't connected to the main body like how are they functional i've always wondered that and like i still wonder that to this day like do they still work if they're not connected like i have no idea like there's probably some sort of pipe system that goes through here that has like the steam come out here but like it's really confusing to me and i always wonder why I'll probably get my answer eventually, or like soon, because I'll probably find some theory or like discovery Thomas, like not Thomas, uh, engine channel about it. Slow and like a lot. This is like really slow, but how much we're bouncing? I don't think I can go any further than this or any. But if I go like over ninety, like, because with the with the invincible, I could go one twenty three and I wouldn't like derail. I wasn't derailing. I could probably go 130 if I really wanted to. But this thing, I can barely go above, like, 85 without nearly crying. See, look, I'm going 85, and I feel like I'm about to die. Okay, now I'm going 90. Now I'm going 95. No, 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 there we go. Bruv just casually creates a planet. <laughs> I have a feeling I know the reason why it's not actually ideal to have an engine look like this, like have to to have the cab up front. It's because like if it if it has the smoke box first and then it goes up, I think that makes it a little bit more aerodynamic, so it's a little so it can go a little bit faster. I think that's the reasoning behind it, but if it's not, then just comment down below, like, tell me I'm wrong, and yell at me, and tell me I'm stupid. I probably am, though. Decouple a couple cards. Because I don't want them no more. 
I think they're dumb. They're stinky. Oh, I had that oddball over there. Oh, oh. Okay, that definitely impact. That definitely made me a little more smooth. No, 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 no. Oh, I just saw this thing go inward. And it scared the ever-living turds off of me. No, 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 no. I'm tilting a little bit. So, so far, it looks like my top speed was 105, it looked like. 104. Oh, I'm running out of PSI quick. Or, oh, no. That's, I think that's why I'm going so slow, because my PSI is literally at 16. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I'm just going to assume it's bad, because the thing's red. Alright, so by the looks of things, my top speed was 105, 106. Just about, I'd say probably 104, just to be on the safe side. Alright. Brakes, I mean, throttle off. Seriously, this engine makes some weird noises, and I'm not for it. Not a big fan of the noises, but I'm kind of required to deal with it until this engine crashes. Or if. 112. 112. I was going 112. 112. I was not looking at my speedometer. Speed speedometer, speedometer, speedometer just sounds cooler. All right, so I don't know. I don't know if I was any if I was going any faster, but it looked like my top speed was one. I'd say one twelve. All right, let's watch this. Hit. There we go. And now we boop. Whee! Boop. Alright. Success! I'd say that was a really good success. Okay, so the top speed for the Invincible Tank engine was 123 miles per hour. The top speed for the Thompson C1, I think it's called, was 117 miles per hour. While the cab forward... Big boy, its top speed was 112 miles per hour. So, that answers the question, does size matter? Yes, size definitely matters. Smaller is better, my friends. Smaller is better. Thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.